yet another alarming report which once again shows how our planet is in peril. There is compelling scientific evidence that the world is inching towards a climate catastrophe. Greenhouse gas concentrations, global sea levels and ocean heat content reached record highs in 2021. This is as per a report released by hundreds of scientists from 60 countries. The annual state of the climate report has brought up several pressing environmental concerns. Let's break them down for you. According to the U.S. government report, not only was the amount of greenhouse gas a problem, so was its rate of increase. The quantity of methane has never increased in a year as much as it did between 2020 and 2021, which was 18 parts per billion. The planet's sea levels rose for the 10th straight year, reaching a new record of 3.8 inches above the average in 1993 when satellite measurements started. The release of this report comes a few months after the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or IPCC report. And these reports have brought to the fore, once again, the challenges that our planet is facing. Losses of more than $100 billion as well as severe impact on food security and humanitarian aspects due to climate-related events have been reported. The report also mentions that tropical storms are expected to increase as the planet warms up and mentions Typhoon Rai, which killed nearly 400 in the Philippines in December, and Ida, which swept through the Caribbean before becoming the second strongest hurricane to hit Louisiana after Katrina. Even the beautiful and celebrated cherry trees in Kyoto in Japan bloomed at their earliest since 1409. On the other hand, 2021 also witnessed record wildfires which have continued this year as well. Currently, the world is witnessing record droughts, flooding events and the melting of Greenland's ice sheets. Even without any future warming, there will be major effects for low-lying areas around the world that are home to hundreds of millions of people. The planet remains far off track from the ambition set by the Paris Climate Accord in 2015 to aspire to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. Officials from the group of 20 major economies met on Wednesday for the climate talks in Bali, but were unable to agree on a joint communique. In August, the U.S. pushed through the most expansive government package ever to address emissions from the world's largest economy. The effort will invest heavily in clean energy and comes as California moves to require all cars to be zero emission by 2035, a decision with far-reaching consequences for the automobile industry. However, to limit warming to 1.5 degrees, countries will have to work together. Let's go straight across now to Louis Torrent, who is international consultant on climate change uh, with us from Barcelona. Thanks, Louis, for being here. Uh, what is your reaction to this annual State of the Climate report, which does raise a lot of environmental concerns? Hello. Uh, I would say that this is a red alert report. Uh, Earth greenhouse gases uh, were at the highest on record, uh, but not just for the CO2, but also for methane and nitrous oxide, which means that we have reached the highest concentration in the last at least 800,000 years. So 2021 was among the six warmest years since records began in the mid-late uh, 1800s. And a global sea level has been rising for 10th consecutive year. And now it's almost 10 centimeters higher than the average in 1993. Other events like La Nina contributed to the warmest year on record in New Zealand, but also to the coolest year in Australia. <clears throat> and in the Arctic, even though it's been uh, cool uh, since 2013, 2021 showed the 13th warmest year in the 122 year on record. So I would say we should be somewhat concerned about this and pay more attention to climate action and ambition. And that is the urgent need of the hour uh, to pay attention to these concerns. But there is also that glaring gap between the pledges that have been made, Louis, uh, by different countries and the action on the ground. 
Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> we are not on track to meet the Paris Agreement. In, in fact, uh, the, the, the planet is not on track to the 1.5 degrees Celsius, either to the 2 degrees Celsius. To meet the 2 degrees Celsius target, we should reduce at least 4% our greenhouse gas emissions per year until 2030. If we want to meet the 1.5 target, we should at least reduce that, that amount for uh, 8%. And uh, at this moment, the G20 countries are meeting in Indonesia to discuss this. But one bad news is that some of these countries, uh, even including six European countries, are turning back to using coal, which is exactly the opposite direction that we should be taking right now. Right. And since you mentioned that, uh, what would you like to say to those who doubt uh, the climate crisis impact, who doubt that climate change is actually resulting in these extreme weather events that we are witnessing around the world? Uh, there was a scientific consensus, and there is a scientific consensus on the human-induced climate change. And there's a concept which is called the planetary boundary, which is the safe operating area under which we can thrive as a society. That limit is set an, on 350 parts per million and right now we are at 419 today so it means that we as a society are at risk our development model is at risk and even recent reports showed that we already have some climate lock impacts what it means is that even though uh, whatever we do regardless of the actions we take uh, today some impacts are irreversible already so nothing we can do to avoid those impacts one of these examples is the uh, the melting of uh, Greenland, which will cause inevitably at least 20 cent 27 centimeters uh, increase in uh, global seawater level. Louis, we are leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much for being here on the broadcast. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.